Okay, we are now on our copper bromide equilibrium. That is uh, number three in your lab manual on page 24. Water bromide and equilibrium of aqueous uh, copper bromide. So here I have a tube, stress tube, and in that I put a little bit of sodium bromide. I want to show you the color of sodium bromide. And that is a white solid. Okay, so what I did was I put a little bit of uh, sodium bromide into a test tube and then I stirred it with a milliliter of GI water. I already did this, I put a little bit more now to show you guys. So basically, you don't see any color here. So this color is called colorless. So you need to record that and I'll let you decide on the rest of the colors in the experiment. So this is a solution of sodium bromide. That is the first part of part three. Then you're supposed to grab some copper bromide. So I have a bottle of copper bromide here. If I turn this around, then I'll show you the color of copper bromide. Let me grab these people. Okay, so copper bromide. Can you see the color of copper bromide? Okay. So uh, that's copper bromide. So you may want to record the color of copper bromide. To this test tube, a second test tube, I'm going to put about half a gram of copper bromide. You are supposed to weigh that out in the lab. And I'm gonna move this around. And that's copper bromide. And half a gram of copper bromide. And you're supposed to add enough water. You are going to add deionized water. I have deionized water in my wash bottle here. And I'm going to add a few drops of deionized water and see, I put a little more than few drops because I want to you to really see what is happening. And I stirred it well with a glass rod. So this is the solution of copper bromide that I'm getting when I added water deionized water. So you can follow equilibrium reaction number five and six for this experiment and note the color of copper bromide with water initially and that would be this color. Then you are supposed to split this into two different tubes. So I'm going to pour half of it into another tube. Just eyeball. Okay. And so we have those tubes right here. The other tube is our initial sodium bromide solution. So we have, we split the copper bromide into two tubes equally eyeballing, and those are the two tubes of copper bromide. So they say to the first tube, you are supposed to add sufficient amount of water until the solution becomes blue. So I'm adding water and until it becomes blue. And the blue you're going to see is more or less like an aqua blue color. And you can see the difference between the initial green and now it is blue. I hope you can see the difference in colors. See the green color and the aqua blue color now. So you can explain the equilibrium shift when water is added what happens to equilibrium number five and six, and that is your job to do. So I'm just showing you the colors here. So let's put that aside. To the second tube, you are supposed to add solid sodium bromide. Let's grab some sodium bromide, and we are going to add some sodium bromide until you see a color change. So let's add a little bit of sodium bromide first and see what is happening there. Well, the color is still the same. It's still a shade of green. So I'm going to put a little bit more sodium bromide. You keep adding. And let's stop right there and stir. It is getting darker, you can see. Okay. And I'm going to put a little bit more. And keep stirring. This is what you would do in lab. 
It says until you see your color change. So uh, I don't know if you can see, this is like a different green, but you know that it is getting darker. And um, and so it went to a color, if you look carefully, you'll see a shade of yellow in there, like a brown yellow. I want you to be able to see that. Okay, so that's the color that you're going to get. So you may want to explain equilibrium shift based on all the colors of the copper bromide equilibrium you saw in your lab name.